In today's video I show you the anatomy of the subscapularis tendon, where it inserts and how a subscapularis tendon tear looks on MRI. So here you can see the different facets of the rotator cuff and I will do a video about which tendon inserts where, but for now you have to know that the subscapularis tendon is inserting onto the lesser tubercle here in yellow. Now the subscapularis muscle or tendon basically comprises several tendon slips as shown here and I will show you an example on a real MR image just in a second here. Keep in mind that some tiny fibers also extend over the bicipital groove as a roof and insert into the greater tuberosity there but it's not really relevant. And you see in blue the long head of the biceps tendon and typically it's running like this but if you have a tear at the upper border of the subscapularis tendon then you get a medial subluxation and this is key to understand because most of your tears or all of them start at the upper border of the subscapularis tendon. So first let's have a look at the normal case here. So the best sequence to start off is always your sagittal use and you can see here we are at the medial side here we have the muscle and then if you go laterally you can start to see that the subscapularis muscle or tendon basically comprises several different tendons portions and we can see it here nicely this slip here and here some smaller slips and they are all coming together here but we frequently have muscle um, in between these fibers and this should not be interpreted as a tendinopathy because it's not it's just normal muscle in between these tendinous fibers here and on the top here we typically have the most tendinous portion so basically a real tendon inserting here and the more you go distally the more you have musculus insertions here and you should not have any fluid in between here so in between this facet of the lesser tubercle and this tendinous or musculus tendinous insertion here so no fluid in here they always tear from the top to the bottom so always start here tearing and then going downwards that's what they do so keep that in mind you hardly ever see an isolated tear here down below they always start up here so we have the biceps tendon here we have the biceps pulley here and it's not medially subluxated or anything also have a look here at your axials and you can see first of all we have the long biceps tendon here nicely located into in the sulcus and we have the tendon here which is of normal signal intensity in this young patient and it has a slightly gray appearance because it's a mix between muscle and tendons fibers here so here we have a patient after an arthrogram and it's a T1 fat saturated sequence, sagittal view. We are here at the level of the muscle and now going uh, laterally and we can see these different muscle portions and the tendons portions here. They are coming together here and at the level of the lesser tubercle we can immediately see that we have some contrast material leaking in here between the bone and the tendons. We are dealing here with a subscapularis tendon tear. And as I said, the tear, they start up here and they are tearing down. And what you frequently see is that the most inferior portion might still be intact here. Sometimes you see one, only one little tiny fiber inserting here at the tip of the lesser tubercle. So this is a extensive tear of the subscapularis tendon. Sometimes you don't see any tendon at all here at this level. This is sometimes referred to as the naked humerus sign here if you don't have any coverage here. So this is a transfer section and you can see here the long uh, head of the biceps tendon not looking normal. And here at the level of the bicipital groove you can see that the tendon is not located here in the sulcus but it's medially subluxated. If you see this there has to be a tear of the subscapularis tendon because normally the subscapularis tendon should cover here this lesser tubercle and the long head of the biceps tendon should not be able to displace or subluxate medially. And this typically starts here at the upper border just where the tendon um, swings around the corner and if you see something like this there has to be a subscapularis tendon tear. Now this is an extensive tear as you can see here with all the retraction etc going on and no tendon substance inserting here because this one here is the long head of the biceps tendon. This is also a nice example because if you only look at your axials and we are here on the bottom you can see that we have the thickened long head of the biceps tendon which is torn 
here and then slightly retract it and if you're going up you can see that we have some muscles and fibers here attaching onto the lesser tubercle at the inferior portion and if you are going up you don't see a, a real coverage here but you have still some tendon slips here coming over here and so you might still think it's okay but actually if you look at your sagittals here follow the top one that's the easiest way to do it you come here and you can see we have fluid or contrast or whatever here in between the tendon and the lesser tubercle and if you see this it's a tear of the subscapularis tendon this one here is again a nice example of a medial subluxation of the long head of the biceps tendon here so it's running on the lesser tubercle and not inside the sulcus here so basically we have a displacement and if you see this it's torn so this is also a nice case and here this is an oblique coronal sequence and you can immediately see that the long head of the biceps tendon here is running way too steep we have the sulcus here so it should be running over here indicating that we are dealing with a subscapularis tendon tear and the next thing you want to do is have a look at your sagittal views come from the medial side going laterally and you can see that the tendon is not looking very healthy here and at the level of the facet of the lesser tubercle we can see the biceps tendon instead of the subscapularis tendon which is torn so this is a subluxation here best seen this time on your axials so we have the biceps tendon here and the sulcus here this is the biceps tendon where the subscapularis tendon should insert and it's cutting inside the tendon substance and sometimes it creates some kind of a delamination here of the tendon so always look at this here and this is also a very nice example of the upper neurotic expansion of the supraspinatus tendon here this is this structure here and you should not mistake this as an accessory biceps tendon or an accessory head of the long biceps tendon as frequently stated in the literature and I have made a video about that actually and you can go and check it out. So you probably noticed that I did not divide the tears into full thickness tears or partial tears and I also did not give you a classification system. First of all there are different systems out there that people use or use to describe in different studies but in daily practice I don't grade them in full thickness tears or partial tears um, I use a different term in German which is just like a detachment at the upper border and I might give the length of the detachment because the way this tendon tears it's slightly different than with the other rotator cuff tendons. So you have probably noticed that the cases that I have shown you are quite obvious cases of subscapularis tendon tears and frequently these tears at the upper border are very subtle and not so easy to depict. Um, the reason I have shown you only the obvious cases is uh, the way that I have searched for these cases and I will certainly do a video about the smaller tears at the upper border in the future, maybe next or within the next two to three weeks I would say. Um, but I will, will do this video as a Patreon exclusive one, so if you want to have uh, access to that video you have to be a Patreon and you can become a Patreon if you go down on the homepage, you find the link down below, um, have a look at it and for as little as two dollars a month you can become a patron and you find there's some extra content and you can engage a little bit more with my channel well that's it for this week folks see you next week